So how do you tell the field what is a shop weld, what's a field weld, and what's a field fit weld? Well, we're going to show you how to do that in CADWorks. So as piping designers, we all know there is basically three types of welds. You've got shop welds, you got field welds, and you got field fit welds. Uh, as we've all been trained for over the years, we try to eliminate as many we uh, field welds and fit field welds as possible. But they happen. Uh, and so I'm going to show you how to... Uh, put in a field weld uh, or a field fit weld inside of CADWorks where it'll show up inside of Isogen. So uh, first thing is your CAD administrator really needs to put in a weld uh, inside the software, uh, inside the spec editor. Uh, nine out, I mean all the time they should be in uh, under gaskets, bolts, and welds in your spec editor. And so uh, now I always build in, um, you know, well, uh, shop wells, fill welds, and fill fit wells. But you, uh, your CAD administrator might not have been able to or just didn't think about doing it. Uh, so as long as there is one weld in there, uh, in here, you should be fine. So if we go here and we put in a uh, weld right here okay and we're then it says you know give me the cutback direction we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put a cutback now my welds are you know the the size is zero uh, we don't do a cutback on it we just you know say hey there's a weld here okay so if we run a ISO on this so we're just gonna select these uh, couple points components here elbow two pieces of pipe we're going to hit enter and then we're going to come over to isogen out we're going to open that one up you can see that it's just a weld it doesn't say it's a shop it doesn't say if it's field it just says there's a weld there uh, if you don't, inside of CADWorks, if you don't put a weld there and it's a butt weld pipe, it's going to put a weld there. You don't have to put one. Uh, but let's say we wanted to call that out as a field weld. Um, so if you click on, double click on this item here, uh, you can see this weld gap. Um, the most important thing is if it says fabrication, that's what it is. It's a fabrication. Uh, it's a shop one. Okay. If you turn it to erection, okay, that changes it to a. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of my ISO here. That's going to change it to um, a shop weld or a field weld. So we're going to go back to our. Isogen again, and we're going to select this and we're going to hit OK. And we're going to wait for that to drop out, and we're going to open this one up. And so now you see that it has uh, the crossbar or the cross there, and it says field weld. Um, and so if you change it to erection, it's going to come out as that. Now, if we change it even further and we wanted a field fit weld, okay, we're going to go right here and we're going to say miscellaneous. Okay. Uh, it still says well gap up here, but we're going to call this miscellaneous. And we're going to do another isogen out. Okay, we're going to wait for that one to come in. This one we... Uh, guess not. And we're going to... Oh, yeah. Sorry. My bad. So, let's go ahead and delete this ISO. 
Okay, we need I, IGO. And we're going to select our stuff again. Hit here. And wait for it to show up. We're going to hit there. And you can see now that it says FFW adds six inches of spool. So you can go into uh, CADWorks and make that name that change uh, in there, and uh, without having three different welds inside of your spec. Uh, so, you know, fabrication that's that's your shop weld, erection that's your field weld, and miscellaneous is your fill fit weld. Now. I know you might be asking, how do you get this FFW at six inches? Let's say we wanted to add a foot to that uh, piece of pipe at that fill weld. Well, that is something that your CAD administrator is going to have to do and change that description inside of Isogen. So basically, this FFW at six inches to spool is a call out inside of Isogen that when it sees a miscellaneous weld, that it will automatically add that every single time. So if you wanted it F dot, F dot, W dot, instead of just FFW, you can change that description inside of Isogen uh, and allow you to, you know, pretty much put any spool piece you want to. Uh, now, this is not customizable on the fly. It's just, you know, the way it is. Um, so... One other thing I would like to show you is that if you have, let's say, a tie point at this location, if you click on the weld and we come over here to Isogen and we're going to change this to pointed and we're going to call this TP dollar sign. And what the dollar sign is, is it's a character break. So it, it goes to another line. You're telling the software, hey, I want TP as the first line, and I want the next line to be whatever you put. And so we're going to call this 01, you know. And so we're going to hit OK. We're going to keep, we're going to change that to fabrication. Okay. And we're going to go IGO again. And we're going to select our stuff. Okay, and there is our ISO. Open it up. And so now we're using the weld as our location for our tie point. Now, again, we have pipe this way. We have elbow and pipe this way. This is not our normal, you know, tie-in point, but you know it's it's a good way to put in something uh, at that location so uh, you can use the welds any any way you want to so so I hope that uh, helps you understand uh, how to put in field welds fit fit welds and shop welds um, and uh, be able to use it for tie-in points or any kind of note that you want to put there uh, so you know, please, um, you know, like, share, subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel. And um, if you'd like to see anything, let us know. We'll try to get it on there as soon as we possibly can. Thank you.